Blue Jays getting two in the second and one in the fourth. That's it. Biggio on the line to center. And it'll fall in front of Tommy Pham. Again, but he missed up. And a high fly ball to center field. Setting up his fan. Tagging is Biggio. Kevin on his way to third, and he'll be in there. And a good job by Davis Schneider at first, too, reading the throw. And when he saw the cutoff man was going to get it, he turned around and went back to first. Deep enough for so Calvin. now Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Bounced up the middle, and this is the last thing they wanted, a double play ball. And they fail to add to their lead again. Seventh inning stretch, still 3 0 Blue Jays. And 0 for 3. And slider. He did, left it over the middle of the play, but it's rolled out to short. Bichette on to first. Two down. And now that it's been cleaned, as John Schneider it got to him. Empty three nothing Blue Jays and a strike one and one popped him up Schneider coming into shallow left field makes the catch and that is a big six out effort Jared Schuster is still on the mound Bo Bichette leads it off Bo is one for three Whoa. <laughs> Even by boasting. Swing and miss okay once yeah. in a while. Swing with intent. That's what they want them to do in hitters' counts. On pitches they like. Bichette will one for three. Out. First pitch swinging, and this one will find the day in Detroit. Fly ball, deep right field. Springer back, and it's gone. Sheet sneaks it over the right field fence down the line, and the White Sox have their first run of the afternoon. And I know we have mentioned it a couple of times today, which is yesterday. Fly ball to center. This is tagged pretty well, but it's going to be caught on the track by Varsho. So if those three are unavailable, then the other remaining guys are. Andrew Benintendi, the bat. Two and one, the count on Benintendi. And a soft liner into left center, a base hit for Benintendi. And that is going to bring the tying run to the Through plate for the pitches in doing it. And he a foul off by DeYoung. Almost hit him. A little bit. You like the location on that one, right? Uh, absolutely, yeah. yeah. It's still in off the plate, but I think the physical body of the catcher, if you get in there too far for a guy... And to the count. He threw him a slider. Went away from the... Again the one-two. Foul ball. Hit harder, but foul down the third baseline. Away from the right-hand hitter. Slider grounded to short. Bichette to second one. Biggio to first. They don't turn it. DeYoung is safe on a very close play. John Schneider is looking back towards Gil Kim, who must be on the phone, and no challenge by the Blue Jays. Well, after all of those sinkers, he got him to roll over a slider. Bo comes to get it, gets it to Kevin as quickly as possible, but DeYoung runs just well enough to beat it out. And he does. That's a more typical one there from Pop. One and slider off the corner. Into 
center and down for a base hit. Popped up shallow right field. Here comes Springer and he's got it. So Pop gets out of it and the Blue Jays lead 3-1 right at the end of it. Slider grounded to short. Bichette to second one. Biggio to first. They don't turn it. DeYoung is safe on a very close play. John Schneider is looking back towards Gil Kim, who must be on the phone. And no challenge by the Blue Jays. Well, after all of those sinkers, he got him to roll over a slider. Bo comes to get it. Gets it to Cavan as quickly as possible, but DeYoung runs just well enough to beat it out. So, popped up shallow right field. Here comes Springer, and he's got it. So Pop gets out of it, and the Blue Jays lead 3-1 to one at the end of eight. Watch out, Cabrera. A hot shot off the bat of Corey Lee, and that's how the bottom of the ninth gets started. Well, sometimes when one comes back like this, you see your life flashing before your eyes. He got very lucky he didn't continue that follow through, because that follow through, if he continues, that ball's going right in the middle of his eyes. He was able to get down, live to fight another day. Sometimes they'll stay with you for a while. Catches the inside. Hard hit to third. Glove. They get one at second over to first. And a double play. Connor Palefa's first instinct was to step on third. Then he realized, you know what, we got a four run lead. Second to first is a double play. It's hard hit. And they do turn two. So Gavin will step up.